burn it, burn it, burn it all to the ground. <laughs> Welcome guys, we're talking Gotham Sacrification, and this episode was okay. It was fine, I'm not going to take too long about it, because honestly, it was really a kind of a slowly unraveling what Theo Gallivan is all about. And then we also get an introduction to this new character called, or called, named Bridget, and I guess she's an early version of this character called Firefly. I don't necessarily know the character of Firefly in the comic books and stuff, but uh, it's, it's an introduction to her as well. We see Celine Kyle on here. We see Gordon. We see a little bit of Bullock. We see, it's really just about Theo and the Penguin. And the Penguin finding out what Theo is all about. And his connection to the Wayne family. And in this episode, we see Ed and his lovely Kristen, or whatever her name is, have dinner with Gordon and Lee. That's it. I'm just kidding. Uh, but Gordon, you know, you know what? Lee is so much better than Barbara. She is. She's better than Barbara. She's more likable than Barbara. She, the actress is better than Barbara. I mean, I really like Lee. I think Lee is... Thank you. You guys gave me Lee. Thank you. She's pretty hot, too. Um, so, we have... It wasn't really Gordon's story. It was Theo's story. And what we learned to find out about Theo is he wants Penguin to hire somebody to commit arson through all these buildings, all these buildings that a lot of buildings on the hit list and that's where we get introduced to Bridget and she is with these two guys who I guess you can call one of them's her stepbrother I believe sort of I mean her mom was plowing his dad I don't they were probably never married but you know they're, they're family so to speak and in this episode basically they go on they commit penguin hires them or Butch hires them. I like Butch. I really do like Butch. And, it's, and that's one of the characters I do enjoy as well. Well, Butch helped, has Selena help him track out these, track down these guys who are loyal to fish, but now they're just loyal to money. And they go commit arson. They have Bridget, who is just a sweet, innocent young girl, like a Cinderella story. They have her commit these crimes or help them commit these crimes. And she's you're starting the evolution of this new villainess called... I believe Firefly. Uh, so Selena and Fire and Bridget have definitely a connection. They knew each other from the past, and you know Selena cares for her and tries to help her out. At one point, Bridget gets caught, and her family just ditches her, and she has to pretty much just with the fire, the flame, uh, flamethrower. Just try to get Gordon Bullock off her back, and she even lights a cop on fire, who ends up dying. Um, but she escapes by the help of Celine and Kyle. And you know what? That, that was like, come on. She would have never escaped. The, the, oh, the cops in Gotham don't know how to do the job. Anyway, but really, like I said, it's all about Theo. And he wanted an item for when the guys was committing this arson and pretty much flaming every building on fire. I think that all the buildings were related to Wayne somehow. But he wanted an item for them to get. And it's a big-ass knife. That ain't a knife. This is a knife. Like, a big-ass knife. And it happens to be an, a symbol, the emblem of Wayne Enterprise. Now, there's uh, we hear the backstory of the Galavans and the connection to Theo. And I, it, basically, the Waynes, um, they're... One of their family members, Christine, like a long time, long, like back in the data century, whatever. Uh, she gets raped because I think she agreed to have sex with this dude. But she said that, oh, he forced it. And I was a Galavan, forced him. Uh, he forced himself upon her. So they cut off his arm. They banished Galavan. They just totally destroyed the Galavan's family reputation, this and that. So basically, Theo is out for blood revenge it's a bloodline kind of revenge that he wants to get back at the wayans he wants to take over gotham city he wants to make a name for himself blah 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 blah, blah. we all heard the story before anyway did you know that penguin just cut off butch's hand penguin penguin's going crazy he cuts butch's hand and then he tells him or before he does that he says i'm gonna have you go over there to theo and say you want to work for him and then i'm going crazy and i'm blaming you and then Butch is like, how are you going to convince, convince him on that? And he's like, oh, I'm fine. 
We got to have you be convincing. So he just grabs his sword and just... Uh, the Butch. Poor Butch. That scene was actually really good. I was wondering why he was kept telling him to take a shot. Take a drink. Take a drink, Butch. Take another one, Butch. I was wondering why he was doing that. I'm assuming you saw the episode, too. Um, but that's basically the gist of the episode. There was... The old lady kind of... You know, I like the old lady when she was telling the story. That was kind of funny. Uh, but she didn't have to bow. I don't know why she bowed. <laughs> Overall, this episode was not too bad. It was informative. It, we now know why Theo is doing all this. I would like to see how... <laughs> Butch is going to be really pissed. I think he really is gonna just going to tell... You know, just kill Penguin already. Um, Ed... Ed's in La La Land right now. He's in, he's in love. But once that relationship cripples he'll probably become the riddler it's probably gonna happen uh other than that that's basically about it so i don't, there's really not too much to talk about anymore i thought the episode was okay it was fine it was it was not a bad episode at all it definitely didn't <clears throat> kept my interest it kept me uh wondering okay well so we're doing all these crimes and stuff. It's still a little goofy somehow, a little bit here and there. But I think this season's getting better. I think this season's a lot better than the first season. I think they definitely found their, their footing. And they know they have a plan, so to speak. They have a plan and they have a goal on what they want to accomplish. So, so far, not too bad with Gotham Season 2. It's still not very good, but it's not the worst ever. So we'll see you next episode. Thank you guys for listening. I'm Dan Manny. Hey, Son! Please subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. It, would, it brings a smile to my face. Comment below. We'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. And like the video well if you like it. And go check out my Star Wars reaction video because it was awesome. Bye, guys.